Hello everybody, today we're gonna see about regression-based stability analysis using RStudio and the concept of regression-based stability analysis was coined by Everett and Russell in around 1966 and they suggested that both the linear as well as the non-linear components of J by E interaction and it should be considered in determining the phenotypic stability of a particular genotype. So in order to uh, measure or check the regression-based stability analysis, parameters such as a mean, the regression coefficient, and deviation from the regression are considered as part of the suggestions of the Ebert and uh, Russell for assessing the stability of uh, different genotype for the granules. So the stability parameter, that means the mean and the regression coefficient, as well as the deviation from the regression uh, line are, are considered as uh, measuring uh, of the uh, yield stability of a particular uh, genotype. So, in order to run uh, this parameter, this in order to run this uh, parameter or regression-based stability analysis, we have to use a package called Library Methane, and you have to incorporate it in your studio. Then you can assign any name that you want here. For for example, I assigned here is WAC. And also you have to use the function G regression. So you have to use this function in order to uh, run the regression based stability analysis. And then under the parenthesis, you have to indicate your name here for this tutorial. The data name is uh, data JE, and you have to uh, I'll locate these columns that contain the environment and these columns that contain the genotype and the column that contains the replication and here is a column or the response variable uh, that you are going to analyze the grain yield so G Y stands for grain yield so by this way you can incorporate all this syntax and run to your R studio so on the basis of uh, Everett and uh, Russell uh, Ebert and Russell, so you have to select two things or three things. So let's first print uh, work, and then let's discuss briefly about how to select the stable genotype. So, still, is uh, some uh, four, four variables are uh, uh, not uh, visible, so in order to do that, you have to increase this, and again, let's uh, uh, run again, print. Work. Yeah, now everything is all parameters are displayed here. So, in order to uh, select the stable uh, parameter on the basis of the Everett and Russell, a stable uh, genotype should have high mean. Well, that means it should, you can select the highest mean from the genotype as well as with the minimum deviation, that means S2DI, this value. And also, don't forget to look the uh, p-value. So you have to select the non-significant. So non-significant result will show you will show us that it is stable. So if you select here is a non-significant non non-significant parameter. Here is 4.9 to e 10 raised uh, minus one means around 0.49. It's not uh, significant to say it's significant. Uh, it should be less than 0 0.05, so it is uh, greater than 0 0.05, so it is non significant. And again, also here is non significant. And again, also here is non significant. Non significant. So uh, the genotypes that shows non significant for this parameter is genotype 5 and 6 here. And again, also here is genotype uh, 3 are more stable. And again, here is the genotype 1 also is more stable comparing to. The so, in order to select uh, on the basis of the Everett and Russell, a stable genotype it should have what a high mean, a high mean, and as well as uh, with a minimum of what uh, deviation from the regression. So, by this way, we can uh, uh, you can consider your uh, stable parameter. So, for example, here is the mean is around 2.2.6. And again, also genotype 3 is 2.96, and again, also 2.54, and here is 2.53. So, among this, the genotype 3 is superior which because it is what 2.9, uh, the mean value is 2.96. So, by this way, you can consider uh, 
the stable genotype uh, that uh, you are dealing on your study. So furthermore, if you want to check uh, using the plot, so you can type plot and also write the name work so to display the graph. Yes. So by this way, you can also visualize uh, the user response variable, here also the environment index. So by this way also you can visualize your uh, stable genotype using the graph. So if you have any question regarding to my tutorial, as usual, you can address me through my email or at uh, gmail.com. Uh, Thank you for watching. Have a nice time.